Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Several special events are scheduled in Eden for baseball coach Jeffrey Roberts, Jr., who died Sunday following a brief illness. The family will receive friends in the Moorhead High School gymnasium today between 4 and 7. And there's a celebration of life service tomorrow in the auditorium at 4. Everyone is asked to wear Moorhead or baseball-themed attire. Rockingham County 911 overnight report, 164 calls, primarily EMS, medical issues, five breathing-related. One call came in as a drug overdose but turned out to be a medical problem, 1811 Victory Hill Church Road, Stoneville, Mail 48. A brief chase in Eden by sheriff's deputies when a car eluded a checking station on Bryant Street. They lost him at Morgan Road, Fisher Hill. Fire this morning, 709 Willow Street, Reedsville, caused by a short in a wall outlet. A missing special needs person in Mayadan, female 22, she returned home and was okay. Four 911 hang-ups. From the Rockingham County Board of Elections, the latest candidates to file for Eden City Council. Ward 3, Glenn Denny. Ward 4, Jerry Epps and Scott Fain. Ward 5, Daryl Carter and Tommy Underwood. Mayor Neville Hall. The Board of Elections will be attending a virtual NC State Board of Elections training conference next week, Monday 8.30 to 5, Tuesday and Wednesday 9 to 1. Elections business will not be conducted during this time. However, the office on Cherokee Camp Road, Reedsville, will be open and candidate filing for the city of Eden will continue. Tar Heel Sports News Carolina football and men's basketball have a new radio home in the Triangle area starting this fall. The games will be heard on WPTF in Raleigh-Durham, Chapel Hill. First game, September 3rd, Carolina at Virginia Tech. The games had been carried on WCHL 56 years. Rockingham County weather, sunny. High today, 94, low tonight, 69. It's the hottest day of the week. High tomorrow, 92, Saturday, 83, Sunday, a 50% chance of rain, Monday, sunny, high both days, 84. Triad, record highs and lows on this day, 101, 1951, 55, 1946. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera. Sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Kevin and Keith Lane take a lot of pride in their durable home medical equipment department at Lane's Family Pharmacy. Nebulizers, CPAP and BiPAP, scooters, lift chairs, wheelchairs, walkers, crutches and canes, ostomy and urology supplies, diabetic shoes, hosiery, intro feeding. Well, you get the idea. There's a big selection, knowledgeable, experienced staff to help you answer any questions. And if they don't have an item in stock, they'll get it for you. Lane's Family Pharmacy, NC14 Eden. Call 336-627-4600. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. Falcons training camp underway in Flowery Branch, Georgia. Practice starts at 9.30 this morning. There will be five open practices. The first one is this Saturday. There will also be an open practice at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta on Saturday, August the 7th. Panthers training camp underway in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, one of the first players out on the practice field Wednesday. The first four practices being labeled an acclimation period, which means no pads and limited contact. On Wednesday's Major League Baseball schedule, the Mets with a 2-1 win over Atlanta. Pinch hitter Brandon Drury with a tie-breaking Homer in the seventh. Atlanta's tying run thrown out by Mets right fielder Michael Conforto in the ninth. The Orioles scored the winning run in the bottom of the ninth to beat the Marlins 8-7. to The Yankees with a 3-1 win at Tampa. Doubleheader today in Philadelphia between the Nationals and the Phillies. Download the free Score app. Lightning fast update so you never miss a thing. It's why the Score app is one of North America's most popular sports apps. That's the Sports Flash. Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. 
Listen up, Merchants News from Uptown Eden. Revived Vintage is moving from Monroe Street to Washington Street. Southern Julep is moving from Washington to Monroe. And today is the last day for Downtown Delhi in Uptown Eden. Donna and Carlisle are moving to 232 The Boulevard. It's a bigger location and more inside seating. Monday is $10 haircut day at Platinum Cuts in Eden, hours 10 to 3. Get a haircut for just $10 every Monday at Platinum Cuts Barbershop and Beauty Salon in Eden Venture Business Park, formerly Eden Mall, a veteran-owned small business. Now the community calendar, sponsored by... Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden, in the former Kmart location, granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. Cars and Crabs on the Boulevard in Eden, Saturday, 10 to 1. Trophies for classic and modern cars and trucks. Crab legs and seafood boil, $15 a tray. Cruise in and free concert at Freedom Park in Eden, Saturday, starting at 5.30. Remedy at 6.30. Concessions. Summer Beach Party Concert Series at the Blissful Ridge, Cherokee Camp Road, Wentworth, in the Amphitheater this Sunday. Jim Quick and Coastline at 3. Rock the Block Party in Uptown Eden on Monroe Street, Friday, August 6th, from 5 to 9. Music, food, and vendors. More information on the Uptown Eden NC Facebook page. 45th Annual Invitational Best Ball, sponsored by the Madison Med and Rotary Club at Deep Springs Golf and Country Club, Saturday and Sunday, August 7th and 8th. Second Downtown Friday at Mural Park in Reedsville, August 13th, Cruise Inn, Food, Music, Kids Zone, and Beer Garden. Benefit for Josh Bartlett at the Sandy Ridge Community Center, Saturday, August 14th, 10 to 1, music, hot dogs, bake sale, and 50-50 drawing. You'll find an expanded community calendar at mikemore.media. Click on the events tab at the top of the page and at shoprockinghamcounty.com. Now today's consumer report. Apple users are being urged to immediately install an update on their devices to avoid a nasty exploit that could lead to malware infection. Apple has issued a security update for Mac, iPhone, and iPad users to repair a memory corruption issue that enables the breach. Several airlines are reporting jet fuel shortages. American Airlines has asked its pilots to conserve fuel when they reasonably and safely can. The airline said it may have to add some additional stopovers on flights if the fuel shortage caused by transportation bottlenecks continues much longer. Despite a sizzling housing market, sales of new homes dropped sharply in June, and economists say affordability may be the main reason. The Commerce Department reports the sale of newly constructed homes fell by 6.6 percent when compared to May's results. I'm Mark Kaufman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Rockingham Community College, Rockatop, TireMax, Explore Eden NC, Carolina Fuels, All About Floors, and Rise Up Reedsville. On the Birthday Club, no names. For today, if you have a name for the Birthday Club, get in on our weekly giveaway that's coming up tomorrow. Text those birthdays anytime to 336-932-1881. few big-name birthdays, Martina McBride, 55, Robert Fuller, 88, Ken Burns, 68. Today we're celebrating National Lipstick Day. And listen to this. Here's lunch and supper, all in uh, one whack here. It's National Lasagna Day, Chicken Wing Day, and Chili Dog Day. Today in Tar Heel history, July 29th, 1918, R.J. Reynolds, the state's wealthiest man, died of pancreatic cancer at his estate in Winston-Salem. He was 68. Fearing his sons, Dick and Smith, would lack his work ethic, his will stipulated they be awarded $2 for every $1 they earned themselves. I wonder how that worked out. 
In today's Music Spotlight, 1963, Peter, Paul, and Mary recorded this song. How many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned The answer my friend is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the wind How many years must a mountain exist before Pretend that he just doesn't see The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the wind How many times must a man look up Before he can see the sky And Mary. That was a big hit for them in 1963, same year for Puff the Magic Dragon and Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. I was playing all of those at WSAT in Salisbury. Rockingham County Today is now heard on Rockingham County Radio. Weekdays around 8.05, that's AM 1420 and 1490, and FM 97.5 and 92.5. And you can hear obituaries weekday mornings around 8.35 on Rockingham County Radio. Let's finish with our motivational moment. A little more kindness, a little less judgment. Thanks for listening, friends. I appreciate that. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday. And remember to count your blessings.